earth made all things perfect, but this perfection was marred by sin. Disobedience brought pain, hardship, and sickness in this world. Mankind's hearts became desperately wicked, and so God's righteous judgment came through a flood. God loved mankind so much that he was willing to destroy all his wonderful creation just to lead mankind back to perfection. Such wondrous love. He was willing to be our savior. What is man that an all-powerful God, a self-sufficient God, a holy and righteous God would turn all his attention to? God's unfailing love is as vast as the heavens. His faithfulness is like the mighty mountains. His justice is like the ocean depths. He cares for people and animals alike. We can find shelter in the shadow of his wings. He gives us new mercy each morning. When we should have died in our messed up state, he extended grace and grace that is sufficient to preserve us. Such love. God's love is unconditional, totally trustworthy. Though we were dead because of our sins, he gave us life when he raised Christ from the dead. We do not deserve God's love, but the wonderful news is that he loves us anyway. He loves us enough to not leave us in our sin-sick state. He made a way to bring us back into perfection. So my child, don't reject the Lord's discipline and don't be upset when he corrects you. For the Lord corrects those he loves, just as a father corrects a child in whom he delights. So let us be glad and rejoice in God's never-failing love. For he cares about our suffering, our sadness, our hardship, all because he loves us. Though the mountains may shift and the hills be shaken, God's love won't shift from us. Therefore, whatever you are going through, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Just remember that God has a plan for you. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. As long as you remain in his love and live in obedience to his words.